What's up guys and welcome to episode 58 of the Coolest Tech of the Month, July 2021. So we do have an interesting and exciting lineup of cool tech products to share with you guys. There are a few products that could not fit on this table. So what you see in front of you is not what you get. There are a few extra surprises and you need to watch the entire video to find out what they are. Now, as usual, everything you're about to see will be linked in the description with timestamps so you can jump straight to the product that interests you. If you missed any of the previous episodes, I will also leave the entire playlist in the description box. Meanwhile, if you want your product featured, just go ahead and send me an email. So without any further ado, let's begin with the first cool product. First up, we have a large brown box inside which there is a mini electric bike. So this is the DYUS2. This bike is small and compact in size and weighs only 13 kgs. But the bike will give you an impressive 40 km range and a top speed of 25 km per hour. Inside the box you will find a user manual, power adapter, power cable, pedals, lights, mud guards, some tools and an alarm key fob. Now you do have 10 inch wheels which are explosion proof and dual disc brakes. Maximum weight supported on this bike is 120 kgs. Now the height of the seat can be adjusted to suit, but you cannot adjust the height of the handlebars. So the handlebars do fold down, but you cannot adjust the height of them. So that means this bike would suit anyone from 150 centimeters to around 180 centimeters tall. If you're any taller, it might be awkward for you to ride this bike. Now on the handlebars, you will find your brakes, a power button and an LCD display, which will show you your battery meter. On the left, you have a switch for your front and rear LED lights. And just under that, you have a button for your horn and your right handlebar is your throttle. You also have a security alarm key fob, which allows you to arm and disarm the bike's alarm. And once armed, if someone tries to move the bike, a whole bunch of awesome sounding alarms and sirens will go off and it's pretty loud. Now top speed is 25 kilometers per hour and there are no other modes to change to. So one speed and that is your top speed. And as you turn the throttle, you can feel the bike just push forward. So there's plenty of acceleration power in this bike. If you don't use the throttle and just pedal, you have pedal assist. But again, as there are no gears, it gives you a sudden boost. But if you stop pedaling, the electrical assist also stops. The brakes are actually very good and the bike promises a 40 kilometer range, which is quite generous, but it does take a good six hours to fully charge the battery. So you do have cruise control and the cruise control is active. If you keep the accelerator pressed for a few seconds and then cruise control kicks in. So cruise control is on now and we're on the top speed. So another cool electric bike tested on the channel this one is more ideal for people who are shorter than six foot tall. I love how compact and lightweight this electric bike is. It fits very nicely into the boot and both the handlebar and the seat fold right down. So it will fit into more or less any boot. So to sum this one up, the DYUS2 is universally suited for all. It's an impressive little runaround. You have a great 40 km range, plenty of acceleration and power with 25 km per hour top speed. Definitely check this one out people, the DYU S2. So next up we have the Fire TV stick with brand new third gen remote control. So I actually picked this up for $24.99 in the Prime Cell. So this is basically the same third generation Fire TV stick um, as I've already reviewed on the channel. So it's the full HD version, gives you Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, Disney, um, everything streams at a maximum resolution of 1080p. But it also gives you the other premium stuff like Dolby Atmos sound, um, a quad core processor, you've got built in Alexa and you've got that brand new Alexa remote control. So I know some of you thought this was a brand new Amazon Fire TV stick, but it's not. I only picked this up because of the brand new remote control. So the Prime Cell, this was $24.99. The remote control alone is worth $29.99 if bought separately. So the remote is still powered by two AAA batteries. Um, they are actually included in the box and you can see we have a whole bunch of navigational options. You've got volume control, uh, mute switch, you've got play pause, skip, 
you got the home button, back button, menu button, and now you've got shortcuts for Netflix, Amazon Music, Disney Plus, and Amazon Prime Video. And you've got a blue Alexa button so you can activate that voice control. So a more advanced third generation remote control included with the existing Amazon Fire TV third gen full HD version. Just something I picked up in the Prime sale that I could not avoid for $24.99. Um, of course the price has gone up now but I thought I'd share it with you. So I have already reviewed this Fire TV stick so I'm not going to do a full in-depth review on it um, but I'll let you know my thoughts on the remote control in a future video or social media post. Let's see what's next. All right brand new smartphone this is the doogie s86 series let's get the box open all right so of course this is a rugged smartphone and doogie are quite famous for their rugged smartphones and this one is no exception ip68 ip69k military standard 810g certified so it's waterproof dust proof heat proof weather proof you can uh, throw it around nothing's going to happen to this quad cameras on the back so you've got 16 megapixel primary 8 megapixel ultra wide then you've got a 2 megapixel depth and a 2 megapixel macro the ports you can see are all covered to keep it watertight so the usb-c port at the bottom on the side we have a fingerprint sensor power button textured volume control on the top you've got a headphone jack again with a latch covering it to protect it from water and on the side you've got your hybrid sim card tray and a customizable button and you can see there it says shock proof now the hybrid sim card tray can be just opened simply no no eject tool required and this will take two 4g nano sim cards or one nano sim card and one micro sd card up to 256 gigs mm -hmm. so nice to see that you've got expandable storage there is a screen protector on top which i'm just going to peel off so you have one applied for you already to get you started which is always a good thing and while that's switching on we're going to quickly see what else we get in the box so paperwork another screen protector user manual we've got a charger here and it's a and it's a 12 watt charger um, sim eject tool which i didn't really need usb c to usb a cable and you've got a lanyard wrist strap as well now on the front we have a 6.1 inch ips display that's 720 by 1560 with 282 pixels per inch now this phone is powered by a MediaTek Helio P60. That is an octa-core chip clocked at two gigahertz. You've got six gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage. Now this is currently running Android version 10, but OTA updates are available. Now this phone has a massive 8,500 milliamp hour battery. And if you were to watch just videos on it nonstop, it would last you 15 hours. And if you just had it on standby, you can expect 27 days standby. It is dual SIM 4G, quad cameras on the back and an eight megapixel front camera. You've got built in NFC, all the Google services are there for you to enjoy. So that was just a very quick overview of the Doogie S86 series. If you have any questions or wanna see me do a full review on this, then do let me know in the comments let's see what's next people so my good friends over at MediaTek sent me over the brand new skull candy indie anc so these are skull candy's latest true wireless stereo earbuds but they are actually MediaTek powered so big thanks to MediaTek for sending these over now skull candy themselves are quite an impressive brand um, i've worked with them in the past and i've tried their over-the-ear headphones and i was very impressed by them this is their latest Skull Candy Indie ANC, so active noise cancelling earbuds. So very nicely presented. Check out that charging case with the Skull Candy logo on the front. The charging case does support wireless charging, so you can pop this onto any wireless charger and get it charged up in no time. And you also have the option to charge it via USB-C. And you can see the earbuds over here. I'm gonna pop them in the box first of all, and then we'll take a closer look. And you can see how nicely the earbuds fit into the case. And when you open the lid, you will see the charging indicators on both sides. Now closer look at the earbuds. Now each earbud will give you around five hours of battery life with active noise cancelling on and around nine hours with active noise cancelling off. Now you can see the blue pairing light is on. So you've got pretty mean looking earbuds there with uh, quite large looking drivers. These are IP55 water and dust resistant. You've got the Skull Candies logo 
on the back. These do support touch control, so you can do various gestures to pause, play the music and skip tracks, etc. There is a smartphone app called Skull Candy app and that will allow you to personalize the sound. So I'm gonna be rocking these for a while and I'll let you know what my thoughts in a future social post or even in the pinned comments of this video. Um, if you guys have any questions as usual, um, fire away in the comments and I'll do my best to reply. Skull Candy Indie ANC people. So here we have the Xiaomi 80 watt wireless charging stand. So quite an interesting design, just a simple pyramid stand with this glass type perspex material. So that would sit there and then you just place your phone on top. Now this does come with a 120 watt power brick with a USB-A to USB-C cable. So simply plug in this cable to the back USB-C, then you'll have yourself a wireless charger capable of up to 80 watts wireless charging and it's universally compatible with nearly all QI enabled smartphones. So this is not just for Xiaomi smartphones people. Uh, this will work on Samsung, Huawei's iPhones, etc. Um, and the best part is I can now test that wireless charging because many phones nowadays um, claim 40 watt wireless charging, 50 watt wireless charging. It supports smart charging so it can automatically match your smartphone's power. So if your smartphone does not support 80 watts, so for example I got this iPhone over here which definitely doesn't support 80 watts wireless charging I can place this on top and it will automatically match the power of the iPhone um, or whichever phone you put on there and then it will charge it accordingly and you have all the protections in place so you're not going to burn your phone out it has over temperature protection over current protection under voltage protection surge protection um, so all the protections are there so it's not going to damage your smartphone so just for example here is my iPhone place it on top you can see it's charging. 85%, there is a built-in fan as well, which will turn itself on and off as required to keep the wireless charger running cool. Mi 11 Ultra, place it on top. Ninety-seven percent. So you can see it says they're charging rapidly 98%. The affordable, very useful Xiaomi's 80 watt wireless charging stand people all right the next product huawei freebuds 4 they feature open fit noise cancellation 2.0 and studio grade sound so let's check them out a rather long usb-c to usb-a cable included you got your paperwork underneath that and here is the earbuds case themselves. So these are active noise cancelling, true wireless stereo earbuds featuring Bluetooth version five. They are made completely from plastic with this round shape. You've got a power indicator on the front, USB-C port on the back. And this charging case does support wireless charging. So you can place it on top of a wireless charger. If you open them up, you'll be presented with the earbuds. And this is what they look like. Closer look. So we've got a little trim on the side. Now each earbud will give you around four hours battery life with ANC off and total battery life with the charging case is up to 22 hours. You do have touch control. Um, they are pretty decent premium quality sound you're getting from these, but there is no smartphone app included so you can't actually customize that sound. But nevertheless, Huawei FreeBuds 4, true wireless stereo earbuds. Yeah, so definitely check them out. All right, so next up, the name speaks for itself. This is a circular, foldable, portable USB fan. So the temperature's right, people. This is a lot bigger than I expected it to be. I don't know what I was thinking. In Amazon, when you're looking at these type of products, you know, you can't tell the scale unless you read carefully, which I didn't do on this occasion. I thought it was gonna be a portable, small, compact fan. This is eight inches in size, um, which I read later. If I put my phone next to it, that should give you an idea of how big that fan is. So quite a nice large fan, I'm not complaining. So you can see the fan folds out, okay, vertically. Now the fan is powered by a micro USB cable, but not only that, there is also a built-in battery. So you've got a 4,000 milliamp hour battery built in, which will give you around 16 hours of non-stop cooling. So when you first buy this fan, it's locked. So to unlock it, you need to keep these two buttons pressed at the same time for two seconds. You'll hear a beep and that means it's unlocked. So we're gonna test this fan out now. That's mode one, fairly silent in operation. Mode two, a bit more powerful. Mode three is like, wow, you can feel that. 
the maximum is mode 4 and that is just incredible wow I'm feeling I'm feeling cold from this right now it's that powerful amazing if you tap the second button that will give you 120 degree oscillation so that's quite useful as well if there's more people in the room that's actually surprisingly powerful I wasn't expecting uh, such a large fan uh, I didn't read the small print where it said eight inches in diameter so yeah it's quite a big fan definitely a good thing because it doesn't take up much room when you're finished with it you can close it up turn it off and that is ready to go you can see I haven't got it plugged in because you have a 4000 milliamp hour battery built in which will give you 16 hours of cooling on the highest mode now imagine you're going to travel with this and you're worried about the buttons pressing themselves on um, as they are just simple touch buttons. Well, you can actually lock it if you're going to travel. So keep both buttons pressed. When you hear a beep, that means it's locked. No matter which button you press, the fan will not turn on. So that's good to travel with. And to unlock, you just do the same again. Keep, bo keep both buttons pressed. You'll hear a beep and then you'll see the device is unlocked. An affordable, powerful, portable desk fan Ideal for those hot summer months, especially if you're working away in the office and you want to get a bit cooler. This is definitely going to cool you down pretty quick. Surprisingly good, surprisingly powerful uh, for a small, compact, portable fan. Definitely check this one out, people. More wireless earbuds, and I promise these are the last ones. Um, or should I say last but not least, these are the Soul S Nano. Wait till you see these. Just wait till you see these. These are incredible in design. Look at the size of them. I'm gonna open just one. I'm gonna open this mint green one, first of all. Wow. So inside the box, you're getting some spare air tips. You're getting user manuals, stickers. You've got this key fob, a USB-C charging cable, and more paperwork. So lots of little bits included. And here is the charging case itself. Wow, check that out, people. These are tiny. This has to be the smallest true wireless stereo earbuds uh, I've ever seen. Um, that is a tiny case. Let's put them in the case first of all. And I'll give you some dimensions just to give you an idea. They are 40 millimeters by 40 millimeters and the height is 28 millimeters and they weigh only 27 grams. That's the charging case with the earbuds in them. If you take the earbuds out, each earbud weighs four grams. So this is some ultra compact lightweight action you have here. Bluetooth version 5, the earbuds have 6mm drivers, so modest sized drivers. They are IPX5 water resistant, so these don't have active noise cancellation, so you can't block out the noise around you, but you have something called transparency mode. So you can put these in your ear, you can activate transparency mode by a long press, and then while you're out and about, you'll be able to hear your surrounding noises along with your music. So that is an ideal feature if you're cycling for safety purposes, you can hear the cars around you and the traffic noises. So yeah, you've got touch controls, USB-C quick charging. Each earbud will give you around five hours of battery life, and the total charge with the charging case is 24 hours. Now, there is no smartphone app, so you can't fine tune the music. I have actually had a chance to test these out. Yeah, and they actually do sound really good. You've got a, quite a balanced sound, but the emphasis is on the bass. So these are, these are quite bassy, surprisingly bassy for small, uh, compact, true wireless stereo earbuds. So they are aimed at the younger generation who like a bit of oomph in their sound. So, and you can see they're available in a whole bunch of different colors. So I've just got some pastel colors to share with you, but these are available in a number of different colors. Um, very nice, fun, exciting earbuds. The Soul S Nano people. So here is another smartphone unboxing. So this one has an interesting name. It's called the IIIF150, if I've got that right. Let's just jump straight into it. This is another rugged smartphone. Wow, check it out. Quad cameras on the back, people. I believe that's a 13 megapixel primary, and then you've got three two megapixel sensors. Um, hopefully I've got that information right. Inside the box, user manuals, USB Type-C to USB-A, and a SIM Eject 2. Wow, you hear that? New smartphone, rugged in design, IP68 and IP69K. It feels super solid and rugged. You've got all of these rubber bumpers going all the way around. Uh, proper solid rugged material. Um, at the bottom, you've got a USB Type-C port, which is hard to open. I can break my nail and do it. So at the bottom, you've got a USB Type-C port. 
with what looks like a headphone jack and your microphone port is just next to it. On the side, you have a fingerprint sensor, power button and volume control. On the top, you've got nothing. And on this side, you've got your SIM tray and you've got a customizable button on the side. If we open up the other SIM tray, Too many sound effects going on, man. So we've got a hybrid SIM tray. It takes two 4G nano SIM cards and one micro SD card up to 256 gigs. So lots of expansion option there, along with dual, dual SIM 4G. Um, I don't know how that keeps happening. Now you are looking at a 5.86 IPS display. That's 720 by 1520 with 410 pixels per inch. Gorilla glass protection on the front. It's powered by a MediaTek processor. That's the Helio G25. That's an octa-core clocked at two gigahertz. You've got six gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of internal storage. This is running Android version 10. Battery size, 8,000 milliamp hours and this does support fast charging. There's an 18 watt fast charger included in the box. So quad cameras, dual 4G, NFC, micro SD card support, octa-core processor, a rugged IP68, IP69, waterproof, dustproof, shockproof, um, heatproof, um, and temperature and weatherproof as well. And in the hands, it's got quite a bit of thickness to it. It's 18 millimeters thick and it weighs 315 grams. So it's a solid phone, solid in weight. Uh, it's a noisy phone. It's gonna sound like a car ignition every now and then. I haven't figured out why it does that, but yeah, it doesn't sound bad if you're into your cars. So there you have it guys. That's my quick look at the Triple I F150 people. So this is the latest helmet by Live All. This is the Evo 21. And you can see it says the Gold Award 2021. Redefine your safety. Oh, interesting. You got a Velcro box over here and a whole bunch of awards there dating back from 2018 all the way to 2021. This is a company that takes pride in their product and they should because this is a product that will keep or maybe even save your life. So let's check it out together. So this is the latest Live All helmet. Um, it's a protective helmet for cyclists. You can see it's nice and padded inside and it is adjustable so you can adjust that from here. You've also got lots of padding on the sides inside as well. Now on the bottom you've got your charger port and I'll show you it. So it's a magnetic charger and it, there is a USB charger included and you've got a power button so you can switch it on. There is a built-in battery. I believe it's a 10-hour battery. So this will give you 10 hours of non-stop cycling action. So you can see on the back, we have a 270-degree ultra-bright LED lights. You've also got automatic brake lights and turn signals as well. Um, you've got front LEDs. You've got a strip on the front for your front LED lights. It's very lightweight. It weighs no more than 350 grams. So ultra-lightweight and solid. This is absolutely solid, protective. You can see it on the side, it says seventh anniversary. So these guys aren't messing around when it comes to helmets. They've been doing this for quite a, quite a long time. Now, there is also a built-in three axis gyro sensor. So it can actually detect any falls. So you've got fall detection. And in case it detects a fall, it can actually send out an SOS alert to your emergency contact. And all that can be set up from the Ride All uh, smartphone app. So impressive, good looking helmet, very comfortable. This is their latest model. It's actually on pre-order. You can only pre-order this right now. So it's not even available to buy. The front LEDs have just turned on there briefly. So that should give you an idea of what they look like. So yeah, a very well designed and attractive helmet. Uh, and the best part is, so all of this tech and safety features included, and the price is ridiculously low. Um, definitely check out the Live All helmet. This is the Evo 21 people. Next up. So here we have the Moni Mint smallest 4G smartphone. That's right, people. In this box, we have the smallest 4G smartphone you have probably ever seen. And I'll quickly show you what you get with it. SIM eject tool, USB charger, screen protector, a nice cute silicon case and a user manual. Okay, and also inside the box, you will find a power brick and the smartphone itself. Feast your eyes on that. Money Mint people, the smallest. Let's get this packaging off so you can have a good look at what we have here. 
This is the smallest 4G smartphone currently available. Look at that quad sensor design. Now this is this is not a quad camera. You can clearly see three dummy cameras and you've got the one sensor on the back. On the side we've got volume rocker, SIM eject tray, and I do want to have a quick look at the SIM eject tray to see what to expect. So you've got dual 4G nano SIM tray, so USB-C charging port with speaker and microphone, and you've got your power button on this side. And if you're wondering about how small this phone is, well, it's 89 millimeters in length, 45 millimeters in width, it's 11.5 millimeters thick, and it weighs 60 grams. Now, on the front, we have a three inch LCD display. That's 854 by 480 resolution. You've got three gigs of RAM, which is a surprising amount of RAM in a small phone. Three gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of internal storage. You have Google Play services included. So all your Google services are there for you to enjoy. This is a dual SIM 4G smartphone. You've got built in Bluetooth. This is running Android version nine. You've got a 1250 milliamp hour battery, which promises a 72 hour standby. And you've got dual cameras, so one camera on the front and you've got one sensor on the back with some dummies as well next to it just to make it look like a quad sensor phone. And you also have LED flash in the center. Interesting little $99 smartphone, the Money Mint. It's the smallest dual SIM 4G smartphone I have ever seen. And I'll quickly open the camera app just to show you what to expect. And I'll take a quick picture. And there's a the picture we just took. How handy is that? You can now go ahead and share that and do your usual social media stuff. And here is a quick taste of YouTube. 2021. So this phone, as the name suggests, is still at concept stage. So it's That's actually surprisingly loud for a tiny little smartphone. So yeah, definitely check out the Money Mint World's smallest dual SIM 4G smartphone, people. Awesome stuff. So there you have it, guys. That concludes episode 58. And we had quite a few impressive products in this episode. Do let me know in the comments which ones were your favorites from the bunch. I'll see you guys again next month with another episode showcasing some of the coolest tech that I set my eyes on. All the links are provided for you in the description box below. That's all for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.